They want to see. Oh, they want to see the auto track. All right, they want to see it. All right, so let's show the auto tracking. Um, I've already set pan tilt limits, so this will work. Okay. Where did you set the limits to? Like the side um, of the. In studio? fact, you know what, Mike? I would actually like to show this off um, via the web interface, if that's okay with you, because um, I want to show how easy it is to control this in the uh, pan tilt area here. So one thing I'll just show you, if I go over to the left here, it's not going to go any further to the left over here. And if I go to the right, it will not go any further right than that. Okay, Tess? So I've already set two pan tilt limits. Now, when I go to uh, auto tracking, I want to have multi-target -tar select on. And what that does is that is going to show, uh, it's going to start tracking. And it's going to go ahead and detach to test here. Now, so test walk forward a little and go all the way over, I guess. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, the reason why I wanted to show that is because it won't go any further left. You have to keep going a little bit, I think. But essentially, and maybe I set this, the, the limits poorly, but it won't go any further than that. Um, now, the other thing I want to show is that we have the ability to zoom in the auto tracking. John's in the background. There we go. And essentially what that's doing is it is allowing us to zoom in the auto track so that you can get different framing for your auto tracking. To me, and I'm just trying to be completely honest, that looks smooth to me. I'm not seeing it. Doesn't look very robotic to me. Oh no, they're saying to move fast. Challenge it, says Timothy. Faster, Taz. All right, let's give you a little bit more uh, space to run and really go. Oh, 